I read that you nearly missed the audition. Yes, I um, I was working on uh, a spy show in the UK called Spooks, and I uh, I'd done a stunt and hurt my back, so I wasn't going to go because I was in a lot of pain. But I I figured <coughs> Peter was only in town for two days, so I took a whole bunch of painkillers and, and hobbled to the casting. And, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think there was possibly some suppressed pain that I was able to portray in my in my reading with him that he liked. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, you play uh, Thorin Oakenshield, so you have to fight, to use weapons, to run. What about the back? Oh God, the back was the back was healed within a week. I'm I'm a I'm a fast healer, so yeah, okay. that was that. This was you know six months previous prior to filming. So, but yeah, there were injuries that happened on 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 the shoot. You know, it was it was pretty grueling. But we'd been through a, a heavy training process, so we'd we'd managed to strengthen our bodies so that we could cope with the with the fighting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how long did you prepare with the fighting scene for the fighting scene? I think we, we did a boot camp which lasted from between six and eight weeks, which mm -hmm. we, where we learned to walk um, and move like a dwarf, fight like a dwarf, and we, we trained together. So you'd, we paired up, and uh, I was I used to train with Jed Brophy, who plays Nori. Um, so we challenge each other and and, uh, and and fight and and do and we did circuits with the stunt guys. So we mm -hmm. were we were fighting fit by the time we were shooting. And you're quite huge for a dwarf. So how did they do <coughs> transform you with facial parts and everything? Um, well, yes. I mean, the whole the whole reason that I was so excited about about taking on this character was was that it was going to be such a big transformation. Um, the prosthetic face and hair, and then the physical transformation of which part, you know I was partly responsible for making that character move in a certain way. But but the, the digital trickery, which was going to make these these characters seem shorter. Mm -hmm. Um, was exciting and you know what's really interesting is that I you know you watch the film and these they don't feel like diminutive children that they still have this sort of heavy warrior like quality which is um, you know I'm really pleased that that was successful. Mm -hmm. So I read that they enlarged your uh, skulls with uh, hair and I don't know prosthetics. Yes there was a there was like um, uh, the, the, I think because when you shrink somebody a human being down we we tend to look just like small people rather than the the physical skeleton of a dwarf is much broader and heavier set than a human mm. and and that involved enlarging the head so we had like um, a latex cap which was under the wig um i think some people it's more obvious than than others of some characters mm -hmm. <coughs> so how did the hobbit influence your life right now because you did three movies, the first one is out, now comes the DVD, you did another project in between. Yes. But Thorin will stick with you. Yes, I think Thorin's going to be around for um, for a number of years. Um, he has to be around because we have 10 more weeks of shooting. Um, so he'll live with me for the rest of this year um, and, you know, hopefully beyond that. It's, it's hard, you know, when you've taken on a character like this, you never really stop thinking about them and, and uh, their history and their future. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he'll be around for a while. You know, I read that you said you after you finished a role, a character, you have to let go, but you can't let go right now. Yeah, and also <coughs> because this is a, a favorite book of mine, you know, he, he'll always be around. And uh, but but yeah, I'll have to try and shake off the idea that that I'm a you know five foot two person with lots of hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so grown back to one. Going back to being who I am. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I read that you um, that you do character diaries for your characters. Yes. So what's in Thorin's diary? His um, mo most of Thorin's diary is um, is based on everything that Tolkien wrote, really about dwarves and um, and their history, the history of of the line of Durin. So, um, but there's also I think I wrote something about um, his brother and sister. Um, who perished um, in order to help the story with the nef with nephews Philly and Killy, and also the escape from the mountain, the day that it happened, because we were going to shoot that, and I wanted to to figure out what what how did his grandparents escape, how did his father and his grandfather get out of the mountain because they didn't know there was a secret door. So there's all this kind of these gaps that need filling. Mm -hmm. So we're looking <coughs> forward. What's going to happen next? Thank, Thank you. you.